Hello and welcome back sa aking channel and today we will be discussing or solving another variation for vertical motion and previously we already discussed three different scenarios um, reference sa Attack on Titan <laughs> so basically yung first na scenario natin is si Armin ay tinos or binato pataas yung empty bucket at na-reach yung maximum height and we computed the time it takes and also the maximum height. The second scenario was um, dra so Aaron dropped the uh, bucket filled with concrete mix at napunta kay, uh, kay Armin. Yung third naman is si Armin tinos yung empty bucket kay Aaron pero si Aaron ay nagfail na makatch yung bucket. So bumalik yung bu empty bucket sa kamay ni Armin. And now what happened is, kasi nga, medyo na bad trip si Eren sa nangyari, na hindi niya nasalo. So, uh, ito, yung, ito yung problem. Eren got a bit irritated to Armin. And then, he jumped with a uniform speed of 40 meters per second. And dropped the bucket filled with concrete mix so that Armin can catch it from a height of 50 meters. So, Previously, yun yung mga ginagamit nating um, parang numbers, di ba? 50 meters and then uh, right now, tumalon lang si Eren ng 40 meters per second which is a new, um, a new quantity. Um, so, anong nangyari? Eren, uh, you know, is 50 meters in, uh, in an initial point um, as the, the height uh, with respect to Armin. And the question is, find the time it will take for the bucket to land to the hands of Armin and also find the maximum height where Eren dropped the bucket. So, ang mangyayari dito kasi yung maximum height or yung height na yun ni Eren is iba na, syempre, kasi tumalon siya. So, meron siyang ma marireach na specific height. Um, kaya, kailangan natin malaman kung ano yung magiging maximum height at kung ano yung magiging total time na uh, makakarating yung bucket filled with, filled with concrete mix sa kamay ni Armin. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Let's, let's try to draw kung ano nga ba yung scenario. Okay, so ito yon. Ito yung position ng parang ito yung ground natin. Okay? At dito, nandito si um, Armin. Okay? Siya yung colossal titan. Medyo malaki. And then, from the hands of Armin, okay, ito yung hands ni Armin, merong height, okay? And yung height na yun, dun nakaposisyon yung 50 meters, okay? So, ito yon, Yung distance from here, kasi hindi naman, hindi naman ground yung reference natin. Yung kamay ni Armin yung reference natin. This is, okay, 50 meters. And that's H. Okay. So, ano nangyari? Tumalon si Eren. Kasi nga, medyo na bad trip siya. Hindi niya nasalo yung bucket, di ba? So, tumalon si Eren ng 40 meters per second. Yun yung initial velocity ni Eren. That's 40 meters per second. Tapos, syempre, pag tumalon si Eren dito, di ba? meron siyang makocover na height. And we will designate that height as Y. Okay? Yan yung height na makocover. Okay? From, from this point or from his initial point. Okay? Ito yun. Okay? Lagyan lang natin ng, ano, ng designations. So, ang mangyayari is, so si Eren, ito, kunyari ito yung kamay ni Eren, nandito yung bucket, Nag hindi ko lang ginawang nag-overlap. Parang hindi bucket, parang naging basket. <laughs> anyway, that, that's that's just um, uh, an assumption. Yung ganyan yung, yung nangyayari. At ilalaglag ngayon ni Eren yung bucket papunta kay Armin. So, gawa natin ng, ng ano, scenario or ng distinction. Okay? So, yun yung naging direction ni Eren. Actually, umabot pala dito. Okay? Tapos, siyempre babagsak kay Armin. Okay? Masasalo naman ngayon ni Armin yung bucket na meron ng lamang concrete. 
Okay? Medyo siguro lagyan natin ng wall. Ito yung wall na ginagawa nila. Okay. Mga mason pala to si Eren tsaka si, ano, si Armin. Okay, so yan yung magiging scenario. We have to compute for, um, of course, this one. The height, mo, the height that Eren covered by the time na tumalon siya. Okay? And we will compute that later. And also, Eren will have some time. Diba? Meron siyang time dito. We'll designate it as time 1. Or the time it takes for Eren to reach a specific height. Okay? So, time 1. And then, kung kailan niya nilaglag or by the time na nilaglag ni Eren yung bucket, doon yung calculation natin or measurement natin ng time to hanggang sa dumating siya sa kamay or mara, maka, makapunta sa kamay ni ni e, Armin yung bucket. Okay, so medyo medyo na delay tayo dahil doon sa, sa drawing na yun pero sana na naintindihan natin ng mas maigi kung ano yung di, 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 mga si isosolve natin dito. So, let's solve for or let's try to analyze the given. Ano nga ba yung mga binigay na impormasyon? So, we have initial velocity. This is Eren's initial velocity, 40 meters per second. We also have yung height, di ba? Kung saan, parang original position ni Eren bago siya tumalon. Um, in reference to uh, the hands of Armin, that's 50 meters. Okay? And we also have, as we know, di ba, meron tayong final velocity, which is 0 meters per second kasi pagka tumalo si Eren, mara-reach niya ngayon yung maximum height which is basically we don't have velocity at that point. So, earlier I also mentioned that we will be solving for the maximum height or the y. Okay? So, the equation for the maximum height kung naaalala nyo pa, ito is the maximum height of Eren nung tumalon siya. So, the formula for the maximum height is, again, ito yon, VO squared divided by 2G. Pero isusulat ko pa rin, saan nga ba nang galing to? So, nang galing to kay third equation. Ito yon. The third equation says, VF squared minus VO squared is equal to plus or minus 2GH. And yung H natin dito yung magiging Y. Um, Para lang magkaroon ng tayo ng distinction kasi meron tayong h dito. Which is yung parang constant height um, na naka-reference kay Armin. So, if you manipulate this equation, kasi mawawala na yung final velocity, di ba? So, ito na yung kakalabasan. y is equal to vo squared divided by 2g. So, let's solve. Solution. y is equal to, ano nga ba yung vo squared? That's 40 meters per second squared divided by ano nga ba yung 2G? That's 2, point, 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? And ang result niya, i-calculate na lang natin, direct na lang sa calculator. That's 40 squared divided by oops ulitin natin, 40 squared divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second, the answer is 81.63. So, y is equal to 81.63 meters. Okay? That's why. So, in meters siya. Medyo mataas din pala yung naabot ni Eren. Okay? So, ano ngayon yung significance nito? So, ang significance nito is makukuha natin yung maximum height. Ito kasi yung height lang na naabot ni Eren nung tumalon siya. Again, yung tumalon lang si Eren. So, ano nga ba yung maximum height? Okay? Height maximum is equal to itong y, ba? Plus yung initial height or the given height. Ito yun, no? 50 meters. Okay? So, let's just add 81.63 meters plus yung 50 meters. At yun yung magiging maximum height. Bakit kailangan natin itong masolve? Kailangan natin itong masolve kasi yung next variation nito is pinapasolve sa atin yung 
time, okay? Yung maximum time or the, the total time it takes by the time Eren dropped the, the bucket full with concrete mix hanggang sa makarating kay 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 Armin. Eh, hindi naman pwede natin i-consider lang yung 50 meters per second. Kasi nga, tumalun si Eren at ito yung na-cover niya na high. So, solve natin. 81.63 plus 50. And the answer is 131.63 meters. Okay? So, tandaan natin. Nasolve na natin yung isang major key ask, which is the maximum height. Okay? The maximum height. Ito yung parang um, in reference to the hands of Armin na kung saan dun magbabagsak yung um, yung concrete mix or yung bucket with concrete mix versus or compared to the height na na-reach ni Eren from the release point. Okay? Yun yung mag naging maximum height din. Okay. So, let's solve for the time. Okay. So, for the time, ito yon. Let's erase this one. And siguro, itira na lang natin to yung maximum height kasi gagamitin natin yung maximum height para ma-solve yung, ma yung time. So, h max is equal to 131.63 meters. Okay? Diyan lang natin yan sa tabi at gagamitin natin yan mamaya. So, for time, for the time, we have T1 and T2. Kaya nag-drawing ako kanina. Yun yung purpose nun. So, isolve muna natin yung T1. At based sa drawing natin kanina, T1 would be the time um, it takes for Eren to reach the maximum height. Kasi nga tumalun siya, di ba? So, the maximum time or the time for Eren would be, you have the formula VO or the initial velocity divided by the gravity. And that is moving up. So, balikan lang natin yung original na, na equation natin dito. Yung original equation natin dito is yung second equation, which is Vf minus Vo is equal to plus or minus 8gt. Diba? Ito yun. And since pataas siya, edi alisin na natin yung positive kasi nga negative siya. And then Vf is 0 kasi nga na-reach niya yung maximum height. So, ang matitira is Vo tapos si G. Kaya ito yung nangyari. Okay? Sana na nasusundan pa rin tayo. So, what would be the solution? I, ano lang natin? Substitute yung given. We have 40 meters per second and we have gravity 9.8 meters per second squared. So, T1 is equal to, ano yung kakalabasan nito? Let's compute. T1 would be 40 divided by 9.8. The answer is 4.8. 0, 0.8 seconds. Okay? So, meron na tayong T1. Okay, malapit na tayo matapos. We will now compute for T2. Okay, ano nga ba yung T2? Kung ang T1 is yung time for for Eren or for the time it takes for Eren to reach the maximum height kasi nga tumalon siya. Ngayon, ano naman yung T2? T2 is um the time it takes from by the time Eren uh, released or dropped the bucket with um, concrete mix hanggang sa makarating siya sa kamay ni, er ni Armin. Okay? Kaya medyo matagal-tagal to ng bahagya kasi ang i-cover niya is yung total ito yun, no? total uh, vertical distance which is the, this one is the sum of y and also yung 50 meters na height. ba? kung naaalala nyo. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, gagamitin natin tong maximum height mamaya. And this is it. Okay. Ano nga ba yung magiging um, equation natin dito? So, in this, exa in, this in this equation or in this scenario, iba yung, scenario, iba yung approach ng time computation. Ito kasi, papataas. And ang i-consider lang natin doon is yung velo initial velocity. This time, wala nang pakialam yung initial velocity ni Eren kasi nga na reach niya na wala na yung initial velocity niya. Na reach niya na yung um, maximum height. Okay? So, wala na din yung velocity. Therefore, ito yung magiging equation dito. Square root of 2h over g. And this is going down. So, saan galing to? Okay? Kung dito nang galing sa second equation yung una, dito saan nang galing? nang galing to sa first equation. 
Kasi nga, meron kang height, meron kang time, meron kang acceleration due to gravity. So, isulat lang natin. Height is equal to VOT plus or minus 1 half GT squared. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung VO, v, uh, initial velocity mo dyan? This is zeroed out kasi nga na-reach ni Eren yung maximum height. And yun, parang yun yung naging reference natin sa other part of the story. ba? Wala na siyang velocity. That's why it's zeroed out. So, ito na lang yung work on natin. Ano mangyayari doon? So, since given yung height, ang hinahanap natin is it time. So, we have... And also, since this is going down, positive. Alisin na natin yung negative para or minus para hindi na tayo malito. So, yung 2, mapupunta kay H. And this H is yung maximum height. ba? Kasi nga, na-explain na, na natin kanina. Therefore, 2 times H, ba? is equal to, meron kang G, so magigis siyang denominator. Okay? Divided by G, is equal to T. Kaso naka-square. Eh, di square root natin. Kaya nga, ito yung kinalabasan niya. Okay? Sana nakuha niyo yung pag-derive natin ng yung formulas. Madali lang siya. Basta kailangan natin alamin yung mga rules. At kung ano yung nasa nasasaad sa kwento. So, T2 is equal to 2H and twice 131.63 meters divided by... Um, Yung G, 9.8 meters per second squared. So, T2 is equal to, let's solve sa ating calculator, square root, and then yung fraction natin na 2 times 131.63 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. So, the answer is 5 0.18 seconds. So, medyo mas matagal nga, ba? As expected. Kasi meron pa siyang kinover na 50 meters. Additional pala. Additional 50 meters. So, meron na tayong T1 at saka T2. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi nga, ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung total time. Find the time it take for the bucket to land to the hands of Armin. And also, including yung pagtalon ni Eren. ba Yung parang um, complete cycle of the story. So, we will be adding T1 and T2. So, total time, lakihan na lang natin yung time, is equal to T1 plus T2. And the answer is 4.08 seconds plus 5.18 seconds. So, the total time is equal to 4.08 plus 5.18. The answer is 9.26. So, 9.26 seconds. Overall time. Ito na yung sagot natin. So, hopefully, nag-enjoy kayo sa mga examples natin at kung paano natin um, sinold yung mga vertical motions and also the variations. Hope na um, magkita-kita tayo ulit sa mga susunod pang videos and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you!